fellow bunnies out there, you have six days from me posting this video to take advantage of an easy to do farm to get one of the best reactors in the game for your character. You don't want to miss this. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ. Now the winner of last week's Ultimate Descendant giveaway can be seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord, link down below. Now to win an Ultimate Descendant or the equivalent in Calibre is as simple as this. To enter my weekly giveaway, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Now the more I see you on my first Descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick winners at the weekend and announce them then. Also guys, join my Discord link down below for even more giveaways. Good luck everybody. Now with Bunny being one of the more popular and easy to get farming descendants, I thought I'd make this video on a limited time farm uh, for you bunnies out there who are yet to get that best reactor for your build. So for the 6 following days from the 30th of July, you want to be farming this endlessly until you get this perfect reactor for your build. Unless you already have it, you can ignore this. Now it is the Tingling Singularity Reactor. And this week guys, well from this moment for the next 6 days, there's an easy farm for you to get this perfect, the ultimate reactor for your bunny. And this farm will see you get hundreds per hour, even more. And then it's the case you're just basically keeping the ones you want and dismantling the ones you don't want. So firstly the farm. You want to come to the White Knight Gulch region, spawn into the shipment base area and go and start that fortress outskirts mission. Once started, take out the initial group of enemies, then run up the stairs and basically your main objective is to capture 4 points. Now here guys, you want to trigger all 4 points at the same time. In doing this, a crazy number of enemies do spawn in and in which if you're on bunny, you will just run around and absolutely annihilate them using your skills soaking up all those drops. Now this farm isn't as good as it used to be but it's still great for doing this and getting that reactor. As a bonus you'll earn that gold, kuipers and all sorts of other materials and loot too. So it is really a win-win. Now you can complete the mission or you can let it fail and restart it that is completely up to you but you do want to be farming this over and over and over until you get that reactor. It's that simple. Now if you ain't playing on Bunny but want to know where you can farm your best reactor, it is quite simple too. Upon you unlocking that hard mode, within that map screen, press that right thumbstick in. This will bring up that difficulty level rewards. From here guys, it's as simple as selecting the very version of that reactor you want to basically farm for. The first tab here reveals the type of rounds you want the reactor to have. So if you're using a weapon that takes general rounds, like I am with a thunder cage, you'd select general rounds. If your weapon uses different rounds, your main primary weapon that you'll have equipped in your hand most of the time uses a different type of round, you need to select that. But like I said, I'm using the thunder cage, so we'll go with this right now. The next tab allows you to select the type of attributes you want it to drop with, i.e. chill, toxic fire and electric so select the one that corresponds with your build me being on bunny we're going to select electric here obviously now the next tab allows you to pick between the different skill types obviously here we have fusion singular dimension and tech now here guys you want to know what's best for your descendant to do this it's quite easy Tab across to to your descendants tab, highlight your descendant, hover above the skills on the left and it tells you what type of skills these are. Obviously guys you want to be selecting, you want to be using and farming for the perfect one for your particular build and what particular skill you may be wanting to buff, simple as that. The final tab guys reveal the actual item you want to be farming for. Right here right now we are farming for reactors, obviously. This video though is for Bunny and for players using the Thunder Cage or other general run weapons. Uh, the perfect farm is right here. Now I understand not everybody uses the Thunder Cage or wants to use a generic singular Bunny build type. But for her, I feel they are the best. But you can always adjust the tabs to locate the area in which you can farm your perfect item. All but special round reactors are available for you to farm this week. Now in regards to the reactor, getting the absolute perfect one will require luck and a lot of it, that's for sure. 
but looking at them the optimization condition here requires you to mount a specific weapon what this means is the benefits and buffs you get from this reactor are only really active upon you wielding that specific weapon stated if you switch to a different weapon you won't reach that skill power of a plus 160 percent so do you keep that in mind the ultimate reactors differ to the rare ones because the rare ones only require you to have a specific type of weapon equipped. You don't even have to have it in your hand. The ultimate requires you to have an ultimate weapon in hand for you to get that 20% extra increase over the rare variants of these reactors. So yeah, keep that in mind. Mounting means you need to have that weapon in your hand while you're playing to get the benefits from the ultimate reactor. Now this scale power boost ratio is what the reactor indeed buffs. This one here, uh, it buffs electric skill power and that singular skill power, which on Bonnie is absolutely perfect because the main two skill players use are the speed of light skill and the uh, lightning emission skill. So yeah, perfect for them. And below this, we can see the effects of the skill powers when this reactor is equipped. Now these will go up and down depending on the next two substats which also are very very important now there are a few here which can be very very handy but you obviously want the best versions of said stats which are gold that's for sure but getting these getting the perfect stats getting the perfect substats getting that mounted weapon that you need is going to take an absolute ton of grind but in regards to the substats you can get here you can get range additional range if you want it a lot of bunnies do like this additional skill damage skill cooldowns additional attack damage against certain enemies i mean there are thousands and thousands of combinations here and like i said trying to get that perfect roll is going to take a ton of farming and luckily and that's why i got this video out as soon as i even clocked that it had reset because last week I was away, didn't play the game, jumped back in basically day before yesterday, started playing again, and then I realized today, this morning, that it basically reset today. So we have six plus days from the 30th of July to farm for this specific reactor on your bunny. But yeah, like I said, there are thousands of combinations here. Getting the perfect one is going to take a grind. Luckily, like I said, there's six plus days to do this. Now also do not forget guys, once you do get that perfect reactor or one close to it, um, you can level it up to increase its power. You do this in Albion, don't forget this. Now what I would say if I were you is, I will keep plenty of these, I mean I just I wouldn't keep one, I'd try and get a, a ton of these, a ton of different ones and keep them for future use, especially if you main bunny or even ultimate bunny, this is perfect for that. So yeah, farm loads keep the best ones get rid of the rest it's as simple as that guys but again you have six plus days from me posting this video to do this guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one